This is the big dance of democracy in the state of Karnataka, which has been won for the Cong by the Congress this time around. So Congress with an absolute majority. On your screens, on the bottom of the screens is the BJP with 65, a poor show, Indian National Congress at 136, JDS at 19, others are at 4. So the vote and the seat share percentage for the JDS and for the BJP has declined considerably as compared to the 2018 elections that took place in the state. Now, um, the focus here is going to be at uh, Malikarjun Kharge's residence. So there it is, outside Malikarjun Kharge's residence, there have been leaders from the Congress who are at this point of time hinting at the announcement being made by today itself in the next 30 to 40 minutes of who is going to be the Chief Minister of Karnataka. Well, uh, that is going to be uh, straying away from what uh, was initially being decided or contemplated that there is going to be one day that is going to be taken and an announcement for the Chief Minister of Karnataka is going to be made tomorrow on the 14th. But uh, does that seem to be the case? Uh, perhaps not. Perhaps yes. We'll have to further figure this out. But right now, this is the state of affairs uh, with uh, large media presence uh, presence of the party Kada outside the residence of Malikarjun Kharge in Karnataka in Bengaluru. Pranay, uh, again the big question. Uh, these is, this is the media presence. These are thousands and thousands of workers, Congress cadres who are at this point in time gathered outside Malikarjun Kharge's residence. Big question in everybody's mind. Who is going to be the chief minister? So absolutely, Megha. Uh, the way I see it, yes, it is a strong and tough choice. Uh, it's a strong contest and a tough choice that the Congress leadership has between Siddharamaiya and DK Shiv Kumar. But between the two, uh, Siddharamaiya clearly has an immense edge. Whether it is uh, in terms of the popularity with the people, he is by far far more popular than uh, DK Shiv Kumar. Or it is in terms of enjoying the confidence of the central leadership of the Congress party. So he enjoys the confidence particularly of Rahul Gandhi. Also, Siddha Ramaya has, uh, you know, he has kind of stitched and managed the Ahinda Alliance. So, the OBC vote, whether it is the Kuruba or the non-Kuruba vote, whether mm. it is the SCs, the STs, all of which has contributed to the Congress victory. DK Shivkumar, of course, has his own importance. He is a resourceful man and Congress needs resources. Karnataka is a resourceful state. So, DK Shivkumar is important in that sense. DK Shivkumar also delivered the Vokaliga vote, which has also helped in the Congress uh, sweeping the elections. But, and DK Shivkumar also has age on his side, right? So, about he's, uh, say, 15 odd years younger than uh, Siddharamaiya. So, my hunch is that it will be Siddharamaiya for the CM's post and some sort of an honorable position for DK Shivkumar, whether it is a deputy chief minister or some very strong portfolios. That's interesting that you say that because the appeal that had been made by Siddharamaya at the start of the campaigning uh, to the political leaders and the people of Karnataka was that uh, this is the last time he would be active in politics. Therefore, give the vote to him. Uh, whether this is a sound uh, plank on which he asks for votes or asks the party cadre, asks the party high command to give him a position, well, that remains to be seen.